Welcome back to First Time Home Buyer. We're taking questions from across the country to make sure you take the right decision when it comes to buying your first home. Let's connect with Atul Sangal now. Mr. Sangal, hi, go ahead. What's your question? Uh, my question is uh, regarding a property that I bought uh, with Ramat Ram in 2012. Okay. So, this property is uh, uh, in Gurgaon, mm -hmm. in uh, Rise. And it's been six years, and uh, we have been following up with the with the builder. There is no proper response from them in terms of see what's happening, what is the plan to complete the project, and actually there is no activity which is happening on the site. Hmm. So I was just wondering if what to do with this. Is there a way out to get out of it? And I see see a lot of noise on the Twitter and other social media oh, by huge. other buyers. Right. But then there is no response from the builder as such which can give you some key ideas to how they are going to going to complete it from here, hmm. even if it is delayed already. Okay. So, yeah, so this is, I mean, this is the question I want to, to some guidance from the third. So what can be the way out from this? All right, so Samir. Whether, whether I should, okay, yeah. I got that question, sir. All right. Samir, stuck project, what does he do? I mean, uh, there are rumors that you will, like he said, Shobha Group might take over and complete the project. What's the certainty of that? Should he get out of it? And how's the overall market looking? Does, is it poised for any increase in future? Well, first of all, 37D comes uh, near to the New Gurgaon region and the region uh, per se, there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, uh, there's a lot of social infrastructure that is getting built up over there. The connectivity through the KMP is going to come about shortly. The Dwarka Expressway eventually will get ready. Uh, so from a, a micro market perspective, this uh, micro market is... Uh, looking decent and it's going to improve going forward. It's an undersupplied micro market for ready properties and the location rating is right now about 5.5. As far as the specific project is concerned by Ramprasta Group, uh, they are in uh, quite a lot of financial trouble and my advice to you would be that you should exit the property as soon as you can even if you have to incur a little bit of a loss, uh, you should go ahead and exit. Uh, because I don't see, uh, you know, this project getting completed in the near future uh, and, you know, Shobha taking over and all these things take a lot of time. So if you can get an exit, take it. And if you want to reconsider uh, reinvesting over there, NBCC Greenview is a good project that you may want to consider. It's been ready since 2016, so no execution risk whatsoever. It's in the resale market. Uh, it's by NBCC India Limited. But uh, our recommendation on the first project of where you purchased is definitely an exit right away. Mm. It's such a pity this project was to get ready in 2014. It's four years since and you know there's no line of sight for this project though. I do believe that uh, Mr. Kandelwal who is the RERA chief there has been putting pressure, has been saying that maybe we will look at getting outside finances to complete all these stuck projects. Don't know when the number will come but uh, Atul, best to get out of that RICE project. It's a slow delayed project if you can get an option then yes and of course for anybody else looking to buy in that area which is close to new gurgaon and of course very well connected has lots of social infrastructure coming up nbcc green is a good project to look at okay next up we've got this uh, we've got mr vinay savant on the phone line with us hi mr savant go ahead sir uh, hi, uh, actually I'm staying in uh, Mumbai, but I want to plan, uh, we have a plan to invest in a 2 BHK flat in Pune. Okay. With a budget of 45 lakhs and uh, I have shortlisted one property and I request you to please advise on the same. Okay. The property name is Dynamic Linear, mm -hmm. it's on um, Andewadi Road, uh, Hadapsa. So All I right. request you to please uh, advise me whether to go. Off, on there. Okay, all right. So, A, first of all, you have chosen a very good market. So, me, isn't it? Harap, sir, is one of the best markets of Pune. And uh, what's your view on the market and the project, Dynamic Linear? Well, Harap, sir, is a huge uh, micro market, and uh, you know, we can even call it a region, it's that big. Uh, within that, Handewadi is a micro market which is slightly uh, lower on the infrastructure grade. Uh, so that's why we give it a location rating of 6, otherwise we would have given it a location rating of 7. It's an adequately supplied uh, micro market with uh, you know, uh, an active secondary market as such, so there's a lot of transactions happening. 
the project Linea by Dynamic Realty is a project that you can go ahead with primarily because of it being in the Harapsar region. Uh, 2019 is a completion year and it's available with the developer, it's radar registered. Dream Solace by Dreams Group is the second recommendation that you may want to consider as well. This is also a project in, uh, in the making and should be ready by 2019. And lastly, we have uh, Simply City by Jala Group. It's a reputed developer, local developer over there. This project is ready now. So if you want to buy a ready project and a slightly cheaper project, then this could be the right option. And this project is also available with the developer. Hmm. All right. So that's had up, sir. 45 lakh rupees linear by Dynamic Realty gets a go ahead. There's also Dream Solace by Dreams Group and Simplicity by Jhala Group that you can consider. Okay, we're going to take this email which is coming from Alok Santhalia. He says, I'm looking for a ready to move in now or in six months, a 2 BHK property. It can be in satellite, Bhopal, Taltej, uh, Borak areas of Ahmedabad. So he's uh, basically named most of the suburbs of Ahmedabad Samir. His budget is 50 to 70 lakhs. Good quality developer and construction is what he's looking for. So uh, amongst the choices of the micro markets, Thaltej is the micro market we've shortlisted for you. Gets a great location rating of 6.5 but that's pretty much there for almost all micro markets in Ahmedabad because of the excellent uh, physical infrastructure that they've been able to create. It's an undersupplied micro market and it's uh, reasonably well priced at 5200 rupees a square foot. It's got decent proximity to the railway station as well as the airport and it's literally on the SG highway. Uh, Shakti 140 by Shakti Homes is the first recommendation, trading around 5,000 rupees uh, ready this year. L then we have Silver Casa by Avirat Infrastructure. This project's been ready for the past two years, uh, still trading at about 5,000 rupees, available in the resale market, so it's sold out. And Avad Enclave by Avad Infrastructure, this is also a project sold out and got ready in 2016. This is slightly cheaper by about 10% compared to the previous. Uh, projects. So any of these three projects are good to go. Okay, that brings us to the end of the show. But uh, well, if you've got a real estate buy sell question, write in to us for data backed advice. I'm going to thank Samiria. Samir, thanks very much for joining us and look forward thank to you seeing so you much. again same time it's next week. Pleasure being here. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.